Main Dub Traig is a Scottish mountain 8 km west of Cree and Larrick in the northern part of the Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park. The mountain reaches a height of 978 meters and therefore qualifies as a Monroe, however it is overshadowed by many higher mountains in the area although it is well seen from the main A82 road in Strathfillan between Tyndrum and Cree and Larrick. The hill's name translates as Mountain of the Black Rock, this refers to the steep and rocky face on the mountain's southwest slopes above Loch Oss which offer scrambling routes to the summit. Vane Dub Treg stands in a group of mountains which rise around the headwaters of the River Coconish and includes two other Monroes and the Corbett Bain Charn. The Glen of Coconish and the four mountains make up the Ben Louis National Nature Reserve, an area which attracts many biologists who come to study the profusion of mountain plants which grow on the moist rocky cliffs and outcrops. The soil in the reserve is of low acidity and saxifrages grow in abundance. Large herds of deer can be found in the quarries around the mountain. The mountain stands in an area that has always been popular for hill walking, even before the advent of the motor car, Tyndrum's two railway stations gave easy access to these hills. Main Dub Treg's best topographic feature is its northern quarry which forms a large basin between the north and northeast ridges, the quarry is drained by the Altcoria Dubcraig which flows northeast to join the river Fillon. At the foot of the northern quarry are remnants of an old Scots pine wood of Coil Coria Chalk, part of the former Caledonian forest. These northern foothills of the mountain were once heavily mined for lead and there are still prominent scars on the hillside. The clan Campbell wrecked the mine workings in 1745 as they were then owned by a prominent Jacobite Sir Robert Clifton. The mine workings closed eventually in 1923. Bain Dub Treg is linked to the adjacent Monroe of Ben Oss, which lies 2 km to the west, by the Bollock Buea which has a height of 779 meters. The ridge down to the Bollock is broad and holds a few small lock-ins within the Schist Rock hollows. There are quarries to both the north and south of the Bollock. Coryagarb to the south holds Loch Oss, a sheet of water measuring roughly 500 meters by 300 meters with a small island located within it. To the north of the Bollock is Coria Buea which has a very steep headwall which prevents a direct descent from the Bollock down to the Coconish Valley to the north. To the east, Bain Dub Treg falls to the valley of Glanokriok. Much of these lower eastern slopes were planted with conifers in the early 1970s and have become an obstacle to approaches to the mountain from that direction. The ascent of Bain Dub Craig starts from the hamlet of Dalry on the A82 at grid reference NN 343292 and takes the track which crosses the railway and follows the Alt Coria Dub Craig through the wood. The track becomes more muddy and crosses three deer fences by stiles to reach the open mountainside from where it is possible to ascend the northern quarry direct to reach the summit plateau just to the northwest of the highest point. Main Dub Treg is often climbed in conjunction with some or all of the mountains around the Coconish Valley. The view from the summit gives fine views of the mountains of Bain to the west and the twin Monroes of Ben Moore and Stab Binane are well seen to the southeast. Footnotes. Thanks for watching.